On April 27, 2005, Airbus, the multinational European jetliner manufacturer, announced the first flight of its super jumbo passenger jet, the A380. Not content to give it just a partial upper deck such as the Boeing 747, the A380 has a full-width upper deck extending the entire length of the passenger cabin. Digging deeper, we find that as the largest jetliner ever built in its three-class mode, the A380 can carry 525 passengers in the first, second, and economy classes. In its all-economy class configuration, it can carry a mind-boggling 853 passengers. This capacity best the 747-8, which has a 467-passenger, three-class capacity, or at most a 605 all-economy class capacity. This ability to carry so many extra passengers results in greater profit for airlines and has resulted in the A380 outselling the 747-8 with 317 orders to 119 orders. The future of the 7478 will apparently be as a cargo aircraft. Even in terms of range, the A380 can outfly the 747 by about 500 nautical miles and is capable of reaching a maximum distance of 8,500 nautical miles. Also, the amount of floor space in the A380 is over 5,100 square feet, a 40% increase over the 7478. Furthermore, the combined thrust of the A380's four massive jet engines is 72,000 pounds, also besting the 747's 66,500 pounds of thrust. Compare these numbers between the Airbus A380, the king of the skies, and the Boeing 747, the queen of the skies, to the venerable Boeing 707, the first commercially successful passenger jetliner that debuted in 1957. It had a capacity of about 150 passengers and a range of 2,500 to 5,750 nautical miles, depending on configuration. The combined thrust of the 707's four jet engines ranged from 13,000 to 19,000 pounds. Airplanes sure have come a long way since 1957. With no loss of life in an accident and no loss of an entire plane, the A380 has had an exemplary safety record so far. With its huge size and enormous passenger capacity, however, a total loss of an A380 and its passengers would be a tremendous catastrophe, a prospect scary enough to give a person pause when considering the wisdom of putting so many people in one plane. As a question for my students and subscribers, how big can planes still get? Judging from the remarkable progress made since the Wright brothers first flew, it literally seems like the sky's the limit. Personally, I'd be satisfied with more leg room and easier access to bathrooms on passenger flights. How about you? Please let us know in the comment section below this video. If you like this video and would like to receive notification of new videos, please feel welcome to subscribe to History and Headlines and become one of our patrons. Your viewership is much appreciated.